get super deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are not reviewing a porno. <laughs> we are reviewing yet another Shutter original, uh, which I thought was going to be in a different language. But it isn't. It is uh, com almost completely in English. Yeah. 99% of the movie. And this is super deep. Super, super deep. <laughs> this is a good super little deep. sound effect. Yeah. Yeah. So, in case you can't, uh, you know, guess from the title, they go super deep in this movie. <laughs> like super deep. Yeah. Like. <laughs> when I saw that, I thought that this was going to be a lot like the movie Underwater with Kristen Stewart, uh, which I am a big fan of. And I, uh, I, I don't know. This film, I guess it has some, some similarities to that movie. Yeah, but for de sure. Definitely a different film. Oh, for yeah. Sure. So for anybody who's like, no, nah, I already watched, you know, I already watched a movie like that recently. No. I'd say it's fairly different. So yeah, the similarities basically ended it being you know about going to a unexplored and very isolated part of the Earth that is like you know nothing lives in. Sure, and has and is a dangerous. Female lead, well, right? And a female lead. That's pretty pretty much it. Mm hmm. But yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this movie is about this woman researcher who is called to this. Um, tunnel i guess it is they, they go down uh and she's there to do scientific research and uh they take a you know a crew of mercenaries or soldiers or i think they're soldiers right soldiers, they're soldiers yeah, yeah. Uh, we watched this like a week ago. Yeah, in about seventy soldiers. things. Some kingsmen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're soldiers. Um, Overall, I liked the movie. Um, we follow like this was a follow up to My Heart Can't Beat unless you tell it to, which was like uber slow, and we weren't into it all. And so, like, I I, I definitely always want to say that. Your previous watch can impact the next watch for sure, right? Like, I already felt like I remember turning to Kaylee when we were like maybe 15 minutes into this movie, and, and I was like, I feel like more has already happened in this movie than the entirety of the last <laughs> movie we watched. And you'd be right. <laughs> so it was like it amped it up yeah. in that moment more than maybe if we'd just thrown it on randomly for the first film of the day. Um, it would have been very interesting to watch them in the opposite direction yeah. where this was like all fast paced and moving and moving. And then you go to that one. It's like, ah! <laughs> and then backs it's just, up. it backs up. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. The highlight of the movie for sure, far and away and above. And I think this is the best part about it by a, a like by a long shot is it's creature design and special effects. Yes. This is what you're watching the movie for, in my opinion. I think that the rest of the film is fine. Like, everything else in the movie, the characters, the the ideas behind why they're there, you know, the setups, the everything. I think all that stuff is fine. I think it's adequate. I think it serves... You know, it's purpose and it moves the story forward to get to these scenes where we see the monster, where we see what's happening to the people. The movie will get likened to The Thing. I and I understand why, but this film is much more in line with the film Annihilation. Mm -hmm. Now, I know Annihilation would be, cons you know, also likened to The Thing, but Annihilation is its own thing. Um, and I think that this is a little bit more in line with that movie, uh, which is, you know, praise to me because I love Annihilation. But when I say that, I mean that while it is similar ish, uh, in story as well, I am more meaning in the effects and mm -hmm. like the, the way that the, that the creature and all that stuff, um, takes over its hosts and whatnot. Uh, I thought all that stuff, like, if anything, if you're not into this movie, you turn it on for five minutes and you're like, eh, I'm just not feeling this. 
at bare minimum, fast forward to the special effects sequences because I think they're truly fabulous and some of the best of 2021 and and should be you know appreciated by by uh, practical effects uh, fans. And while there is probably some CGI stuff going on in here, there's a lot of practicals and they're really fucking cool mm-hmm. and they're really, really well done. And this film needs a lot of praise. The, the, the special effects people need a lot of, of appreciation and praise for the, that the, the work that they did in this movie. Yeah. No, I agree with you completely. I mean, like you said, I think that the, the special effects are the main draw of the movie and I thought they were fantastic but also you know like the thing and Annihilation it does kind of have these like cosmic horror elements to it Mm -hmm. which I really enjoyed but um you know the plot and everything is is fine I didn't have any issues with it everything makes sense um but the way everything looks is really really cool and um it also kind of reminds me of The Last of Us I got that vibe a few times as well but not for any other reason than the monster the the creature effects hmm. so okay. yeah um well and i guess the the reason behind that really so i thought it was a really cool movie i really enjoyed it yeah mm-hmm. i did too i i liked the movie i just want i just want to say that i think i think that the movie is f- fine like i think it's good but i think the special effects is what elevated it to really good for me like the story, it's the characters. I think it, I think where this film lacks the most for me is in its characters. I think the premise is cool. I think the setup is cool. and but outside of the main girl and even she is lacking to a degree for me, everyone else I couldn't give a fuck about. Sure. And that hurts the film. Like right? like what's what's so great about the thing mm. is that, I like every character. Mm -hmm. I can identify every character. You know, if you, if you went through the cast and you went through, like you put up stills on the screen of the thing, I would be like, Oh, that's this character. Oh, that's this character. And I could tell you things about them. I could tell you, even if maybe I couldn't name their name right off the top of my head, some of them, maybe I would be like, wait, which one's that again? I would still be able to tell you a lot about them and why I like them and what, purpose they serve to the story and whatnot with this one you could show me anyone from the movie outside of the main girl and be like i don't fucking remember who that is yeah. you know so there we don't have really any memorable character moments mm-hmm. in this either outside of the main character so it's a little too like centrically focused on the main mm-hmm. and doesn't really branch off into the other characters and i think that that kind of hinders the film quite a bit as far as you know like the progression of character building. And in a film like this, it shouldn't be cannon fodder surrounding, mm-hmm. you know, one central uh, character. I yeah. don't think that that works because Annihilation has really great character stuff too going on in it. And I feel like you get a really good sense of who everyone is. They have that little powwow right before they go in, you know, to the shimmer. They sit down and they all get to know each other at that table, and it, and it and it really builds on their characters. And throughout the movie, they make decisions that line up with the characters that were introduced earlier in the film. Things make sense. This movie doesn't do that. Yeah. This movie is like, oh, here's some soldiers. They're gonna die. Yeah. And you know, she'll be the last man standing. Like you know where this is heading. Yeah. No, I agree. I think that the deaths are much more meaningful if you have some kind of connection to the characters before. And also the horror of this is something that like primarily affects mankind as a whole. Um, and so it, like, I think it is necessary for there to be you know, more advancements with the characters as a group rather than just a single person you know, versus like, you know, maybe like a slasher movie or something where you can kind of get away with making the other characters a little less forgettable or a little more forgettable than the main girl. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. With the characterizations, I would expect them to go super deep, Super deep. but they didn't. They went like that. (laughs) Just the tip. Just Just with the tip end. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> then the special effects guys are like, no, we're taking oh, the, no, whole... They're... <laughs> the whole arm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, 
ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I, I think it's definitely, I mean, if you're a creature feature kind of person mm-hmm. and are into the, the monster movies with the cool effects and all that, it's a longer movie. It's like two hours long. I felt like the pacing was um, good on it, though. I didn't really feel... I could have lost 10 minutes of this, mm-hmm. I feel, and it would have sped... Like, if you're not going to have... Your film shouldn't be two hours long if you don't have good characters, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I I see. I, like, I guess you, you could. You can't justify a two-hour film without characters. Sure. Like the whole point of having a two-hour film is for character right. development, you know right? Yeah, but I mean that aside, though, for me at least, I felt like the pacing was good, and I wasn't really bored at any point. But I could see that you. No, could but on a rewatch, cut. you would be. On a rewatch, I would be for sure. So First that's time, that's though, the tough thing. Out. Yeah. Yeah, it should. A second a second viewing experience should 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 richen the characters because now you know so much about them you go back and and then you you know develop an even further stronger relationship with them and mm-hmm. that's just not going to happen with this movie no so that's just yeah that's what holds these kinds of movies back so other than that yeah I think it's a cool one time watch mm-hmm. maybe I'd watch it again in the future you know fast forward the clock. A few years, and I completely like kind of like I'm already forgetting about characters, so I wouldn't <laughs> mind rewatching it one day. But this isn't something I would revisit a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's worth a watch for sure. Mm-hmm. It's on Shutter. Check it out. Let us know. Adios. Bye.